What's going on, MSFers? That took four tries. Duelum here, back again with another video. And today, we've got Cosmic Crucible. Week number one, round number three, going against Brian. 140 million TCP, and this man does have the Red Devil, but it's on offense, and he's got the weirdest defense I have ever seen in all of Cosmic Crucible. So let's get into it. All right, coming into room number one, we've got full MOE going against extreme, full extreme. And this is the room where if they're Raiders, they will clear ability block. So we got to make sure we are keeping an eye on the prize here. Uh, you see a lot of G19s. Um, so good, good times indeed. Lots of big G19s here. Uh, Gambit's going to be pinging really hard. So hopefully Kang can carry and um, we should be good. Um, again, they are all raiders, so, um, yeah, gonna have to just get the most amount of damage on Forge here, um, that's gonna be the goal of this, is just all damage on Forge, um, we'll get a striker hit here, okay, there's that striker hit, just as I said, um, let's get the, uh, Defense up off of Forge here. Okay. Okay, we got the special coming out, but that gets blocked. Awesome. And then we get the stun on Nightcrawler here. Cool. And now Kang goes for turn number two. So this should kill Forge for sure. Um, I kind of want Gambit dead here. Yeah, I'm going to kill Gambit here. Well, attempt to kill Gambit. Update. Forge didn't die, but he should bleed out, hopefully. He did. Awesome. Cool. Perfectly planned. No issues whatsoever. Um, I kind of want to keep the taunt up, but I also want to kill these two idiots. So let's special here. Um, that did no damage. Cool. But I kept the taunt up, so that's good. Um, let's get a special on Sunspot, because I really don't want him doing anything. Okay, he did give energy out. So Gambit should be ulting next turn. That's unfortunate. Okay. Let's get the trauma stun here. Rewinding Gambit a little bit as well. Trauma stun on Nightcrawler is very, very good. There goes all the dodges, and then Nightcrawler should be a goner to this. Yep, and then Sunspot's dead too. Awesome. Gambit's going to ult now, unfortunately, so everybody's probably dead here. Oh my god, Ultron lived? Wow. Uh, this is unavoidable, isn't it? Absolutely it is. Zap! And, uh... Can I take some turns? Thanks. Uh, I might be able to go before Gambit goes again. Do I get to take another turn? No, I don't. So I have to double tap it. And unfortunately, that's probably going to mean I lose because this guy has everything on offense. All right, coming into room number two, we've got, like I said, weird stuff. We've got Tangled, Doom, no uh, and Red Guardian. We even have Noir in here as well. So that's fascinating. We're just going to New Warriors it. Um, remember, this is room two. So everybody ults turn one, uh, at least if they're within two turns. So everybody's ult costs two less. But then when they ult, they get slow. Um, so new warriors should be able to do pretty good here. Should be able to, um, just delete everything, honestly, because you got to remember, um, new warriors is the main counter to, uh, tangled because, uh, they can never miss. So we'll get the special here. Um, and then we should be able to just, um, target on noir here to get the rewind on doom. Uh, Doom gets rewound a bunch, and then we can get the special here, and Doom's probably going to end up bleeding out from that. Um, and it does look like he will. We've got the assist as well. And remember, those charges do absolutely nothing here. Um, so it literally doesn't matter. I still hit them all the same. Uh, so new warriors still finding a use, luckily enough. And then we got, this is why we brought Dagger in here, because we knew Dagger was going to ult turn one. Uh, and it's over with the striker attack. So yeah, super easy, super efficient. Let's get an extra... All right, coming into room number three, we got Twisted Blade. This is the vulnerable room, so vulnerables don't really do much here. And Spider Side, you can't get vulnerables. Uh, but we have Spider Side Vol. I'm just going to do SDCGR and see how it goes. Um, I don't know if Vol changes anything here. 
Um, I'm wondering if there's a potential that Vol um, does takes the stun instead of Penny because of this, and that might be the thought process behind it, but I literally don't know. I think CGR does it to whoever has the highest focus, and I think Penny still takes that crown. Um, we are going to rewind this clump here on the left side here. Um, and then, uh, honestly, I really don't want to take a chance to see what happens here. So I'm just going to trauma stun Penny. I don't want to take a chance to see what changes with, with, uh, with Vol in here. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna get the ability block down here. I'll get the blind down the middle on the Vol. So Pav and Ghost don't do anything. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not taking chances here. So Pav ult will miss now. I'll get a striker attack on uh, the Vol as well. So that's why I kept one striker. And then uh, we get the ult here. So we should be good. Everybody's got heal block. Everybody's got a bunch of bleeds. It should be fine. Um, again, I don't know what the Vol does here. So if you see somebody with Vol in here, I would say just be careful. Because you don't know uh, what Vol does here. She could change things up. I literally do not know. Um, let's hit Peter to make sure he goes down to the bleeds, hopefully. And he does. And Pab dies too. Full health. Let's get in the next fight. All right. Coming to room number four, we've got Cabal with Vulture and Zemo. Uh, we got Raiders on Vulture and Zemo, but they do have blocks. So that's really unfortunate. But I might be able to get lucky and pull it off. So let's see if we can do it. Maybe if I don't even get uh, Raider crits, maybe I can get extra lucky and Cabal just ends up surviving. Um, we can only hope. But uh, yeah, I really hate this room because I can't use my my Proxima Midnight. Also, she's on defense now anyway, so I uh, can't use that. So let's hope we can get some critty, critty crit crits. No crits there. Zemo passive also does not crit. Hopefully this crits here. It did crit. Awesome. We got really lucky. So we did get a crit here. So we are able to uh, strip everything off of everybody now. Um, I do have a three diamond iron Patriot now. So uh, no issues with uh, resists anymore. Um, we do have to special here. So that goes there, obviously. Um, I want Ghost Rider dead. I don't want him specialing and taking me out here. Uh, and then Leader should be able to take out Starbrand before he does any damage. And then we just have the... Uh, the tanky people here, but I'd rather have the tanky people alive than have people who can potentially do damage and kill me. Uh, we can get a rewind here because we got a bunch of turn meter from Vulture. And we'll get a basic here because we can't do anything else. Um, and then we will get an ult on Cap... Um, uh, Cap... Br not Captain Britain. Peggy. There we go. And it's a goner. All right, cool. That was uh, good. Great crit by Zemo there. Let's get in the next room. All right, coming into room number five, we've got Hive Mind Emma, and we're going to use full Illuminati with the Iron Man rework here because we don't have Captain Britain yet, obviously. Uh, we got Raiders on um, Iron Man, Mr. Fantastic, and Shuri, which I think are the absolute right ISOs. And we got Striker on um, Black Bolt and Striker on Hank because Hank gives more barrier for his basic ISO attack. Um, I do have a pretty, pretty big Illuminati. It's a 4-4 Shuri, close to 5-5. G18, and then Hank is a 5-5 G18, all level 100. Um, the second I finish Dark Dimension 7, these people will be going to G19 as well. Um, so that's going to be great. Um, I am going to get a ability block on Void Knight here because I don't want him doing his ultimate at all. Um, and then from here, it should be pretty, pretty straightforward. I'm going to just focus on Red Goblin because he has the revive as well. Um, so I want him going down. Obviously, you see a lot of damage coming out there. Uh, Void Knight, basicking, uh, and then we'll get the ult here. So this peels off as unavoidable, peels off dodges and stuff. They literally can't do anything. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and I think this is this is not unavoidable. This is unavoidable, though, so I'll do this instead. Because uh, the ult's not unavoidable, unless it is in Crucible now, and I didn't read. It could be. I don't know. Thanks for going for the only person that's low there. I really appreciate you. Uh, all right, you're dead. This should hit three times as well. Yeah, it does. Uh, and then you're a goner too. All right, cool. Let's get into the last room. Coming into room number six. This is something. Uh, he's got three horsemen, Sasquatch, and Omega Red in my room. Duel's Destruction. So if I'm ulting, I'm giving them energy. Um, but yeah, I I think this should go pretty well. Um, this this uh, Sasquatch is absolutely ridiculously large too. So definitely need to get a lot of damage on him quickly. 
Um, Tangles in here is going to make sure so that, that uh, I have charges up, so anything that they throw at me is, will be missed, except for, like, Rogue uh, Special and Ult. Um, I'll also go first here as well. Um, get a nice slow, potentially, on everybody. Uh, no slow. We still got the uh, Taunt on Sasquatch, but this Striker attack should get him below health, so now I don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, and now Rolk should be going next, which he is. Uh, still can't rewind over on the right side, but Apoc gets to go now, which is great. Um, and then from here, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, let's go with Rolk, because he's faster. And then Emma, I'll just get a slow out there, even though everybody's already slowed. So we got an ult missing here, giving Tangle Web turn meter, so I should be able to go before Rogue as well, which is great, which I do. Get the special here. Uh, we'll get the special here. Rogue's now a goner, and then, um, yeah, it's over. All right, cool. So I got to clean up the Gambit, and then let's see if my opponent one shot up. Coming in, we got this uh, conglomerate of humans. It's Eternals, Kestrel, Vol, Dorm. It's just a lot of big things ready to take out pretty much anything uh, I come into contact with. I probably could have used Dorm MOE to possibly make uh, make MOE one-shot it. Um, but it is what it is. It happens. Um, I'm honestly not used to having Dorm on offense, so I keep forgetting. Um, but it is what it is. It's all right. We, uh, we, will, we will live and learn. It's week one, so I'm not too worried about it, honestly. This Gambit is absolutely massive. Can you die, please? Thank you. All right, let's see if my opponent dropped at least one fight and uh, was a little inefficient. All right, coming in 49, 791. A pretty good score uh, efficiency-wise. Unfortunately, dropped that one fight. And my opponent has not attacked yet, it seems. Um, it does not seem like he has attacked, so we'll go over my attacks. In room one, I probably could have used Dormammu in here to help bolster MOE um, and not have to worry about dying here. But again, Cyclops would have removed those revives anyway, so that probably would not have mattered uh, came in with an easy cleanup. Room number two, this was cake. Room number three, this was also cake. Room number four, uh, got a good crit on with Baron Zemo, able to take this out, so that worked well. Room number five, Illuminati absolutely destroyed this. Uh, make sure you're using Illuminati on offense for this event. You could still do it next week in round one as well, since it starts on Sunday. And then room number six, a great combo here. This worked really well. This took out this room pretty quickly. But it looks like Brian has not attacked yet, so hopefully I can end the week 2-1. and one. Um, I do plan on doing a recap as per usual, and then um, uh, showing my defense for room round number 2. Uh, I got plenty of content coming up on the YouTubes, and if you guys want to catch this live, you guys can come out to Twitch on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday mornings around 7.45 Eastern, so you guys can uh, come in, troll me, have some good times with me, crack some jokes, uh, drink your morning cup of coffee. But until next time, this has been Duelum. Later, y'all.